everyone i'm gonna be here so today i'm gonna go ahead and show you all how i detangle my kinky 4c type 4 natural hair um i get quite a few questions about how do i detangle what do i use to detangle so i'm gonna go ahead and share that with you all today so let's just go ahead and jump right in as you can see i already detangled the back portion of my hair and i just put it in chunky twists because that's just how i like to do it it's just easy to section it off and put it in twists when i'm done detangling that section so what you're gonna need is a water bottle of course i know some people like to mix theirs with conditioner but i just use plain water boom bam real simple <laughs> i also Keep a wide tooth comb on hand and some cutting shears because I'm sure you all know if you have type 4 hair, it gets really cool. The, the hair strands, excuse me, gets really coiled upon each other and we do deal with single strand knots. I don't know if other textures really deal with single strand knots as much, but I know for my hair, I get quite a bit of single strand knots and I have to have scissors on hand because I just cut them right out. So that's what I have on hand. And then I also always have um, just some hair clips to section off the hair. So these are really, really, really helpful. And most important is my hands. I mainly use my hands to detangle my hair. I don't really use this comb. The only time I'll use a comb is if my hair is like really tangled. But for the most part, I just go ahead and use my hands. So my hair is pretty dirty. Well, yes, yeah, dirty. I haven't washed it in almost a month, and then I used gel on it today. So I'm just going to section off this section here, like so. And then, well, or you can use a hair tie. Since I have a hair tie, I'm just going to go ahead and use the hair tie. I do apply olive oil just a teeny bit just to help... Um, just to help the detangling process go a little bit smoother. I know some people like to use conditioner because it has a lot of slip. So to each his own. I don't really like packing my hair down with conditioner that much. I don't know. But to each his own. So then I just wet it like so. Like I just did. So I get the hair really saturated. And it has a white cast on it because I used gel. And so what I do is I take a section... And I literally just separate the, the ends like this. Because my ends get really coiled upon each other. So I just do like this with my hands. And as you can see the shed hair. If you can see that. The shed hair starts to come right out. So that's all I do. Now I don't really run my fingers through my hair. Because I don't want to cause any breaking. Like I don't want to cause the hair to break. But... Yeah, so I just do it like this all the way through. I try to feel and make sure there are no single strand knots that I need to cut out. If you see the white stuff, that is because I've used gel on my hair. So, and that's simply all I do, y'all. Like, this is all I do. And the shed hair comes out. And I know I mentioned before to y'all on my channel that I feel like my hair sheds um a lot more than normal but you're supposed to shed 50 to 100 hairs a day so if you're not detangling your hair daily which i don't i don't recommend anyone detangling their hair daily because that's a lot of manipulation on your hair but um of course you're gonna get a lot more shed hair because you're not detangling it every single day so the shed hair is just kind of lingering in the hair but I still feel like my hair sheds a lot. And um, if you haven't seen my update video, I talked... Oh, did I forget? I forgot to put some olive oil. I talked about this in my hair update video. So if you haven't seen my hair update video, go ahead and watch it. Um, my hair sheds because I have a little iron. So, yeah, but basically you can get more information about that. Um, in that video I'm just going through and separating the ends I'm not tugging hard on the hair or anything like that and the shed hair is just coming out so you want to be really gentle that's why I like to use my hands okay so here we go so let me zoom in so right here here's a, a knot now I won't be able to get this knot out because it's too big. It's kind of like 
When I usually get knots, it's the shed hair that's shedding. It gets tangled up on my strand. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my shears and I'm going to cut it because there's no way I'll be able to detangle that. And that is the shed hair up on the knot. So, yep. And that's all you do. It's pretty simple. Don't rip out your single strand knots just always cut them out that's the best way to just get them out because you don't you'll damage the hair by just pulling on it and pulling it out so you just want to go ahead and cut it out as you can see i haven't used the comb i rarely use that comb it's very rare so this is what the detangled hair looks like versus the hair that's not detangled so you can see the difference there your hands is the, like the safest way to detangle because sometimes using a comb can be very damaging because a comb can tear your hair. So this is like the best way to get the shed hair out. We have another knot there, so I'm just going to cut it out. I'm just twisting up my hair for the purpose of this video because I'm not going to wash my hair until the next day. But if I was going to detangle and wash my hair in the same day, I would just part it off into four sections. Um, I would just part it off into four sections with clips. I wouldn't twist it up like this. And I haven't detangled my hair in about... Ooh. A week and a half, maybe. A week and a half to two weeks. I don't know. I just think that the olive oil gives me a little bit of slip with not so much heaviness. Like, I don't know. It works well for me. There's some water. Okay, so I'm all done. And this is how much shed hair I got for my whole head. So to me it's a lot and it is shed hair because it has the white bulbs at the end at the beginning of the strand that's how you know if your hair is shedding or breaking if it's breaking you will not see the like the little mini white bulb but if it is um shedding you will so these are shedded strands of hair now i just want to briefly touch on this i did talk about this on my instagram so it is important for y'all to follow me on instagram so you can kind of get in on these conversations when i have them recently recently really girl recently <laughs> i discovered this oh my goodness what am i saying what am i talking about i discovered some breakage right here in my nape um, as you can see, it is definitely broken off. It was almost to my collarbone, pretty much was to my collarbone. I'm pretty sure it was from the um, Ghana braids that I had. They were beautiful and everything, but they were kind of tight back here. And I know better. I know to tell the braider to leave my nape out, and I don't know what I was thinking. I let her braid it up, and lo and behold, it broke off the nape of my hair right here. So, y'all, don't let nobody braid you up all extra tight right here. Because it broke off my hair and now I don't have much hair right there. So it is my fault. I can't be mad at nobody but myself. So I'm just going to use black Jamaican castor oil and rub it on there and pray that it grows back. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know about that. That I have experienced breakage. I am no stranger to it. It happened to me. So yeah, this is my hair all detangled and everything. And it is ready to be washed like let me know in the comments how you detangle your hair, what you use to detangle your hair, and what works best for you. This has been working best for me. I'm not even going to sit up here in front. I do slack sometimes on detangling my hair. Not good, I know. And I do sometimes just get right in the shower without detangling my hair. Which is why sometimes I get a lot of single strand knots and stuff like that. Because detangling is very, very, very important. So don't be like me and do better. <laughs> and I'm going to do better. I'm going to do better this year. For sure. For sure. <laughs> if I left anything out, it will be in the description box below. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye. <laughs>